This electric bike is built on the same chassis as the Gapen Freeride 250R, still featuring 21 and 18 wheels. At first glance you think it's a full-sized bike but once you climb aboard you start to notice it's just slightly downsized, let's call it maybe 10%. Seat height is 36 inches and a wheelbase of 55, 8 inches. The only thing that is not downsized is the weight at 238 pounds it sounds heavy but keep in mind you don't have the mass of a crankshaft and flywheel spinning between new legs. The biggest feature over the gas engine motorcycle is its almost silent operation and zero emissions output. Some other noticeable differences are that clutch lever and master cylinder are replaced with a handlebar mounted rear brake and the rear brake pedal is removed. There is shifter as this is a one-speed motor. However, it does have radiators as the motor is liquid cooled. The 360 cell 260 volt lithium ion power pack, made by Samsung, is housed in a robust die-cast aluminum casing. This power pack has a range of up to one hour of riding. It can be charged remaining in the motorcycle via the connector located below the seat in 80 minutes, or 80% charge 50 minutes. It's expected to last more than 700 discharge uncharged cycles and still provide 80% of its initial capacity. Spare power packs are available for $3,600 and can be changed in less than 2 minutes. First impression of the 2017 Caton Freeride EXC Electric Motorcycle.